Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as I was getting ready to come here, for the first time, I began to empathize with men and their performance anxiety issues because it was my hair that was refusing to rise to the occasion. <laughs> well, luckily, I didn't have to swallow a little blue pill, and I just had the folks at L'Oreal whisk their magic wand around me, and here I am. I'm deeply honored to be L'Oreal Professionnel's first Indian brand ambassador. This is a brand that's been part of my life ever since I first started coloring my hair almost two decades ago. Hair is such an important part of our lives. These dead cells that sprout from the top of our head. We cut it, we curl it, we color it. We even cry when we begin to lose it. Because after all, it is one of the ways that we interact with the world around us. Tell people who we are without using any words at all. Even world leaders lend us a glimpse into their inner selves with their hair. Margaret Thatcher's hair was as immovable as her iron will. The decisive streak that ran through Indira Gandhi's wavy mop was as much a reflection of her mind as her style. But in order for our hair to be able to tell these stories, we need the help of professionals. Joan Crawford once famously said that the most important thing in a woman's life, aside from her talent, of course, was a hairstylist. Uh, I would like to ask you how a hair color can enhance the overall personality, especially when you work in a glamorous field, in acting, maybe a modeling, or maybe a celebrity? I don't think it's just in a glamorous field. I think uh, it just gives you a little bit of happiness. It's r happiness in a bottle. It's the same way that you feel when you have a new shirt, or where if you wear a color that complements you, maybe pink brings out you know, the color in your cheeks, and certain colors in your hair bring out, you know, make your eyes pop. I think that's about it. It's just happiness. It's nothing beyond that. So I think uh, I've been using uh, L'Oreal Professional to color my hair for the longest time. And uh, I think my loyalty paid off, 20 years loyalty, and so they decided to hire me. But those are not the topics. It's like I said, exactly in my article, there's a place for everything, right? And this is not the place for that topic. So when you catch me somewhere else, then please ask. But do you think that sexual harassment at work is something which is neglected, something which is not talked about that much? Well, the statistics say it's 38%. So there's your statistic right there.